The guitar racing handicap stakes is next. Ten furlongs, not to ninety. Tunbridge Wells at the top for Paul Rhodes. Silver Tong, Jim Murray, Townhouse, David Robertson, Monorail, Paul Rhodes, Slingshot, Daniel French, Swinging Groom, Martin Leedham, Brailsford Glove, Derek Hinton, Kutasi Squola for James Shea, Casino, Lord Paul Barsons, Aikman Allen for Graham Clutterbuck, Point Perfect, Obi Wan, Le Ram, and Ortia Bouquet, Matt Cooper, and Rackety Man Alfie, and Ulysses for Jamie Hopkins. A field of 15 in this. Two big names in a 0 to 90 there. All in and away they go. And who's going to be the one to take them up? Take it up. It looks like the what's on the on the rail called Monorail is going to take the lead, but he's immediately pressed by a slingshot. In comes Silver Tongue Ulysses. Is that was a good old horse a few years ago, wasn't it? And then they're coming through to challenge for the lead now is Tunbridge Wells and also Rattiman Alfie. And Rattiman Alfie is the one who's now burst into the lead after they've covered the first quarter mile and it's Rackty Man Alfie who's in front from La Ram down this near side who's in second straight course remember so no concern about being wide on the track also close up there is Ulysses slingshot over on the far side with swinging groom Bail Brailsford glove is there as well Tunbridge Wells after that one looking to the back town has he's just the back marker at this point but it's Rackty Man Alfie who leads past the six from La Ram down on this near side in second those two are about three or four lengths clear of Brownsford Glove in the pink down this near side over on the far rail slingshot is probably fourth the white jacket of Casino Lord is coming through now also Jim Murray's black and red on Silver Tongue are starting to take much closer order as well and they've still got uh, just over four furlongs to go and Rackty Man Alfie leads by I'd say about a length or so to La Ram in second Silver Tongue cruising in third though now comes up to challenge for the lead also Monorail is now getting going again Casino Lords well placed Slingshot is next these have shot clear of the rest of them are headed by Ortia Bouquet now Swinging Groom trying to run on but over on the far side it's Rackty Man Alfie who continues to lead from Monorail in second the rail side has got the lead at the moment the Jim Murray horses run has petered out a little bit but inside the final two and it's Rackty Man Alfie from Monorail then comes Slingshot Silver Tongue getting going again now Casino Lord also in the white jacket closest to us in the green Katasi Squola is getting into it with a furlong to go and now it's just Monorail who hits the front but he's immediately pressed on this near side with Katasi Squola and now also Silver Tongue coming back through as well but it's Katasi Squola who's going to take it from Silver Tongue second Rackty Man Alfie stuck on well Townhouse finished quickly Ulysses dropped right out but it's Another one for James Shea, who is seriously laying down a claim to be in the mix for the title this season. I think Katasi Guola wins it. He's certainly in the title for the names that I'm finding the artist to say. Silver Tongue second for Jim Murray. Rakti Man Alfie for Jamie Hopkins ran a big race to finish third. Townhouse for David Robertson was fourth. And Monorail for Paul Rhodes was fifth.